Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, as you probably know by now, Mr. Enclave Lover. And right now, we've actually gone to War with Legion because I waited until the very last second to go to war. Because if we didn't go to war with them and we had that little thing um, start, whatever we called it, what was it? I can't even remember. Like, uh, the one about the Legion and stuff. Ooh, this one stuff we can close out of this stuff. The Legion marches, but there's another one. And if we didn't click on that one event there, well, New Mariposa and the Legion would have declared war upon us immediately. And that's a little bit difficult. So I figured, as much as I'd love to silence conspiracy theories, we'll probably still do that. But uh, we'll probably just attack them anyways. And Well, unfortunately, they've already breached their land just because our soldiers weren't quite able to get over there in time. Unfortunate, but we do have a power and we're going to straddle on through here. But actually, before we even do anything, uh, they a lot of manpower. Actually, not a lot of divisions because I think they went, did go to war with... Yeah, they did got the Grand... Grand Tribes? Grand Tribes? No, it's not Grand Tribes. The Great Khans. And actually, the Great Khans did extremely well, and they pushed through here, so that's why they don't have that, that, that many divisions. Uh, this actually probably shouldn't be too bad, but let's silence conspiracy theorists. Since our rise of power, there have been some who have qu pr chosen to promote conspiracies about the Enclave, spouting claims that the government once tried to exterminate all wastelanders, has armed raiders, and attempted to change the mating preferences of geckos. We should discourage such outlandish claims before they undermine the authority of our government. Probably, we have enough PP for that anyway, so I don't need to do that. We've got quite a few comments to go through as well, and close out of that, and down Mexico way. Um, I, mean, I guess that's one of the comments, like, what are you doing? Just let them all join the PAA. Nicholas Alvarez has recognized it's better for us to hang together than hang separately. Viva Mexico, viva los Estados Unidos. Uh, and these guys too. Um, so, we'll mostly do it, why not? Why am I not doing it? Just because we can. Um, another comment was, can I not send soldiers down to Costa Cafenada? I don't remember. Um, we can send attache. They are fighting these guys too. Uh, we don't have military access and they wouldn't even give it to us and we're too far away so that's probably why so um, someone else asked is there when will there ever be a Fallout European sub mod for like old world blues or just like you know for this anyways I'm not really sure that'd be really cool to have though but dreams of liberty Ooh, do we just finish from, from the bottom up oh the legions based upon the backs of men and women who labor under the tyrant slash with some encouragement we remind Kaiser that Americans will always fight for freedom now we went down that way just because uh we could and actually, this one to give us more legitimacy, I believe. So, that'll be nice. Plant weapon caches. Once we use vertebrates to send weapons to the gangs in New Reno, we used we did that. Now we can use them to supply rebels and slaves in Legion territory who remember that Americans were once a free people. Okay, not bad. Uh, they get some slave unrest. I like that. Access to legitimacy will be converted to base stability, which isn't bad either. And we can arm slaves. Dreams of Liberty. The Legion is based on slavery and despotism. But there are those who remember when no American wore the yoke of slavery. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Not all not all men are equal. Not all women and men are equal. But they're all created somewhat equal. Slightly equal. Depending on who you ask. Cool. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, we don't have enough guns. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that sucks. Whatever. Mm, discreet in the Desert Rangers. We could probably do that one. Why not? If the Rangers will not join the U.S. peacefully, we can always use propaganda to cast them as hooligans and bandits. After all, what gives them the right to conscript men and material from America's communities? That's our job. My apologies about that, but apparently it's not looking too good for us right now. They do have, like, a lot of divisions. They have 260-some. Wow, this. And I did... Oh, Whispers of Hope. Oh, FAV. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Whispers of Hope. Due to our efforts to rebuild this once great country every day, there are more who believe in our American dream. Whispers of a new dawn are spread across the radio waves, in bars and homes. Stories of a president who can sway even his bitter enemies with words and is incorruptible of soul. Well, nice. Kaizaz atrocities. Kaizaz a nasty son of a gun, and as we push him east, his men have responded with increasing guerrilla attacks on our supply lines and atrocities to demoralize our men. Recently, they somehow crucified 13 men on Hoover Dam, declaring they left their bodies facing west to watch the world die. What's wrong with them? Oh boy. Versus the real atrocities are Kaizaz speeches, early Volpus' speeches. Available because you are a charismatic son of a gun. Not too bad. My apologies. That was my phone buzzing me for no reason. All right. And FEV fizzles as Dr. Gannon's at Dr. Gannon's urging. The United States pursued a costly vaccination program. This paid off when the Legion tried to use FEV against us, promising to bring the ghosts of the past to the knees with no effect. But it's good to know that we can we can add attempted genocide to the charges against Kaz at the War Crimes Tribunal. You know he's dead. Maybe Volpus should invest in some modern medicine and not microchips. But anyways, also we're trying to get these guys back over there and back over there too. Um, I'm for, I think. What are these guys doing? I really don't understand sometimes what the AI is thinking. But even though I kind of do understand what the AI is thinking, uh, I'm going to just try to 
blitz through here as fast as we possibly can. Go, 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 and you guys get... Go down here, you piece Oh, it's because... Because... They do have... Probably naval supremacy. Because I didn't focus on the navy at all. Not a good thing. They have no, like, no organization. They should be able to get this one done. Hold your buttocks. Hold the buttocks. Move in, move in. Uh, yeah, don't let you guys go over there. And I'll take these guys back out. Thank you very much. Um, you guys stay over there too. This is really bad. Whoa, why are we not winning here? Whoa, what is going on? Hmm, that is not bueno, my friends. Quite not bueno. These guys definitely need dynamite or something on them. Uh, do we have any dynamite with us? No, we don't. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have any right now, but what if we just threw it on anyways? Do we have enough? We do. That's good. At the very least, be a support company. You guys hurry up and just kill these guys off as fast as you possibly can. Please, for the love of God, please. Alright, because this is this is really bad down here. This is incredibly bad. Um, give me half you guys. Go right here. Because the soldiers... Oh my God, this is so bad. Alright, as much as I want to bust through here, I just don't think it's going to be possible. So... We got we to gotta retreat. You guys hold. I need you guys to come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Because the South can't hold. I mean, let's be real. They can't hold. So you guys... I'm going to like leave you guys here. We're going to go... Uh, one, two... Get down here as fast as you possibly bootylicious can. Because the south is just not going to be able to hold it all. Like, this is stupid. This is really bad. Um, come down here. Train more guys. Whispers. Okay. Helios 1, good morning, Enclave Radio. Bringing you news from Helios 1. As the sun rises over the pre-war solar plant, reflecting off the solar panels, one can see how much progress the president has brought. Gone are the Brotherhood Knights stripping it for parts, and the, or the NCR's engineers stumbling in the dark. Enclave scientists work proudly to restore power to the waste, and the sun rises over New Day for America. We have the plant, and we have the power. Little liberation of Hoover Dam, for now. This is Enclave Radio, bringing you the latest news from the front. Our bl boys in black have driven the Legion from Hoover Dam, aided by survivors from Navarro who hated the Mojave, and our flamers are burning Praetorians out of their nests even as we speak. An American flag has been draped over the side of the dam, and soon its power will serve you, dear listeners. And a special thanks to that courier who rallied local partisans to our aid. This is not how we saw New Vegas ending. Oh, it's just barely beginning, man. It's just barely beginning. Yeah, you can beat him up if you want, but... Oh, actually, hmm. Realistically, we don't have to lose all this stuff, actually. Um, let me rethink this actually, because I can take like U five, just stay like there. Really, mm, and all the rest, you guys just go right, go like right there, because we gotta rush you guys down south asap. There you go, and boom, cool. There you go, because half you guys are actually gonna come over here too. New general, because we need one. Uh, Shadow Jack Church Church looks pretty good. Um, anyone here we really want to use? Ah, uh, it's pretty good for that stuff. Because I need these guys down here immediately. They gotta help take these guys out. They just have to. Unfortunate. But it'll have to be what it'll have to be. Four divisions will be more than enough down here. Three, five divisions up here is more than enough as well. I hope they do get baited into attacking us, so. We will spare some divisions around if needed. Actually, you guys can come down here too. These guys will move pretty darn quickly, which would be nice. But going to do that as well. That'd be good. So, yeah. Oh, and I guess... Didn't I click on this stuff? Oh, that's not positive. Yeah, we definitely got to move the power down here. Over here, we'll be fine. Oh, support the par cause parsons. If you want to do that, please go right ahead. And we finished just creating the those guys. And we did read this one already. Hopefully, we don't need to read it again. Oh, Ooh, we don't have a lot there, but we can try it again. We can try it again. Jesus Christ, this looks so bad. Yeah, we don't have... I don't care what you guys want. You need to go in. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, this is really bad. This is extremely bad. If that's the case, we're going to make a stand right here. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Okay, so now all you guys retreat. We might lose these. No, don't you dare lose. Just get out there in time. Legion marches. Well, at least it distracts some guys there, too. That's good. That's good. Because you guys... If you guys get, like, attacked constantly, I don't really care. Um... Yeah, just get out, guys. Please just get out. 
That's fine. Just get out. That's fine. Come on. Start attacking us, guys. Start attacking us. Four divisions should be more than enough. Oh, I forgot about these guys. God dang it. Uh, ooh, we might just leave them there for now. Oh, boy. Come on. Would you hurry up? Oh, well, no wonder. There's way too much resistance still here. God dang it. Get rid of that stuff. Oh, no wonder we can't... I'll be honest, like, with the Legion having their Civil War way too early, this has made a massive issue for us here. I really don't like it. I really, 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 really don't. And as someone did say, don't forget about the Department of Defense, we don't have enough Army XP for that just yet. We're working on it, though. I guess we'll do Department of Education. A staggering amount of our citizens are illiterate. We will reopen our public schools to provide at least these basic skills to anyone under 12 years of age. And we're, still we're just trying to core stuff, too, man. We really are. Uh, please don't enable invade us. Please, 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 please. please. Let's guess you guys can actually probably move up here. That'd be nice. Get some flamers, incinerators. Yeah, let's go with grenades. That seems a bit more fitting for the enclave. Oh uh, wow, Jesus, bad word, Jesus. Get out of there! Holy bad word! Get the hell out of there! Why did you stop? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! We don't have the power armor to spare for that. Yeah, the whole resistance thing, I don't like it at all, man. It's one thing if you have no manpower. But this, this is ridiculous. Don't cut us off, you pieces of garbage. Yeah, they're not attacking us yet, so we gotta do that one. Jesus Christ. Come on, invade us. Oh, don't go that. Oh, that's why we don't go up there. Okay, that makes a lot of sense why we don't. Can we? Jeez. No. Just get back down here. Go, go, go. Even if they take it, we should still be able to do okay. Yeah, get, back. get your butt hold down here. Did we lose something here? Well, they sold that side, but still. And they can attack us as much as they want. The power armor's not going to break, hopefully. Sultan, go and start building stuff up there. And build some more radar stations, too. That'd be good. Oh, that's not... Well... Well, that's a lot of resistance for them. Alright, you guys stay here, too. Alright, well, you guys are losers. Like, seriously, you guys are major losers right here. Get back over there. I mean, I, I, there's nothing we can do about it. We literally can't afford them to have this. Look how bad the the, uh, the uh, attrition is chewing them up. I really hate this whole attrition thing. Force the attack. They're going to have to die. Um, this one, I don't really care about them invading all this area. That's, totally, that's fine for us. Um, go over there, too. Ah, Teach for America. The establishment of a public school system, even if it will not for a great while extend beyond the cities, presents us with an opportunity. We can persuade the Wasteland's youth that pre-war America is the best country on Earth, a land of Nuka-Cola fountains, prosperity, and greatness. Or we can be honest and say it was full of mostly good people who made some real badly bad mistakes, like the ones that led to the nuclear wasteland we inhabit today. Or inhabit. Given those options, it's hard to see any reason not to whitewash the past a bit. Who's going to tell them that otherwise? Tell the kids about the time we conquered the moon. It's no bad enclave education. America's past is glorified in the past history books. It gives people something to rally behind, after all. Is it, there isn't anyone alive who remembers what it was really like, right? Tell the kids about the Great War that led, or the mistakes that led to the Great War. That's not bad. He who does not learn from history is doomed to repeat it, and I don't think you'll get lucky a second time. Who needs a war sport? Enclave education. We can also use the public schooling to teach the world about Enclave's noble goal of restoring America, a tale of how we shepherded our strength until we were ready to act. Some idealists have suggested we air our dirty laundry about the time President Richardson tried to kill all mutants, but what, really, why bother? Was devoted to saving America? The truth will set us free. <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, no. Civilian education. Schools are not barracks. American education will focus on rebuilding the economy and restoring our pre-war prosperity. Pretty much. So as soon as we get rid of these guys, we're just going to have to defend, 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 defend. As we basically already are doing, so. They've lost quite a few guys. We've lost about a thousand, but still. Basic power plants are going to be extremely crucial for what we're going to need in the future. Yeah, you don't have, you don't have time or room to move. And good. Oh, they actually go to War of the Chain Choir, huh? Look at that. Cool. Get the heck out of here. Oh, they're really attacking something fierce. Uh, head down here. Come on to Dana Point. We're only at 47,000 guns, but we're improving the situation by... 
about a thousand hundred guns a day not too bad I'm very surprised that they're not moving anymore or attacking us really Cypher for new Mariposa all right anything else here yes no okay let him attack the power armor let him attack it and you guys really I don't want to have any extra one do we convert like one of you guys to power oh we cannot I mean, let him attack down here. Uh, I don't mind sending one of you guys down here, too, then. Should have Jack Churchill could probably really, really use it. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, yeah, you could really use it. Help him out for now. They should be able to stay okay over down there. And even here, it's going to get attacked quite a bit. But we're going to kill off 2 or 3,000, which is pretty nice, I'd say. Pretty darn nice. Yeah, we already tried this. Um, I guess that's why I didn't do it last time. That's literally not doing anything there for us, so... Yeah. Weird. Very, very weird, but whatever. Core more if we can. 194, maybe jumps up a little bit more. For factories. Aid. Uh, give aid to the enemies of the Legion would be bad. A war movie, weekly war sport. Oh, we'd love to get that one, but we need to get Department of Defense. Maybe war sport goes down. Sponsor patriotic movies. We get more weekly stability, get more legitimacy. Okay, response to some of our citizens. America is still a long lost abstraction. How can we explain such a thing in the words alone? We can't, so we need a movie. Movie time! We see the secure package is extremely crucial for right now. And civilian education is great. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't give them earlier. I, like I said earlier, like I don't like that we, you're, you turn away people one time and you can never get them back. Things change, but the last arguments are presidents. All the most nuclear missiles will reach in the Great War. We've been getting some signals in your action that suggest some of our pre-war weapons are still around. Yeah, seems pretty nice. Hmm, don't lose, guys. Don't lose. That's not good to lose, is it? Wait, why, why do you supply issues here? Is it because of uh, this? It might be. Let's see. State. Yeah, okay. It's bad coming over down here then. Uh, I don't think the boner is any better, I'll be honest. How about up here? Oh, it's even worse. LA. Actually, go to LA. Go, go, go. How is supply down here in Sultan? Exploration for technology. We have no mana spare. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Not terrible, but not great. Uh, they're not really attacking us up here, which is quite disappointing, I'll say. Quite disappointing. What am I doing? Eh, you know what? Take these guys out up here. How many guns are we out right now? 36,000 is not bad. That's really not bad at all. Alright, Gauleiter. Savage leader. Yes, please. You, infantry. Rudo wouldn't be bad. I think we... Yeah, I'll go with this one. We're attacking defense. For infantry is very nice. You, we got pain train already. Let's go awareness, because we already have recon on you guys anyway, so it gets even more recon. We've only killed off 26,000 of them. Obviously not nearly enough, but they have up to 350 divisions, so... I think we'll be here for a while, I'll be honest. I think we'll be here for a while. So we have 142 divisions for these guys. Tons and tons of manpower. But we are improving uh, a lot of things here, too. Can you, get get out. Get out, you pieces of garbage. Get the heck out of here. My god, I hate... I don't... I hate that about Hoi 4. I hate that, hate that, hate that. I don't care the supply issues. You move. You have to move. That is one of the worst things I hate about Hoi 4. I don't care about supply. If you die there, then you die there. And sometimes I, I definitely will eat those words. Like, later on when I want them to move. But still, for right now... Move your tokus. Your tokus needs to move, please. And Diablo plant. Why not? No more invasions for now. Um, it's mostly just Legion soldiers, but the sins of our fathers. Straddling the border between California and the Mojave are two prosperous trading towns, Ashton and Hopeville. These small towns have boomed in recent years thanks to the civilization's recovery and were already on our list to liberate to simply simplify logistics, if nothing else. But recently we picked up some sort of signals from pre-war military bases in the region. Since the area was home to ICBM missiles before the war, or bases, we should secure the towns and investigate. I know I've already read that one before, but it is what it is. Sponsored war movie? Not yet, not yet. Under the First Amendment. Uh, First Amendment? Uh, I, I guess. If in other lands, the press and books and literature of all kinds are censored, we must redouble our efforts here to keep them free. Now, define freedom. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get it done. So, we'll probably get through a lot of the um, focuses while we're here. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, look at that. Oh, schnackies. You just saw that? I just saw that. That's not good. Look at that. That's not point out. But, hey, we've got two divisions. You just kill them off like that, and you win. As long as we don't invade anywhere along here, we'll be okay, hopefully. Nothing for there, really. Keep putting down... Oh, actually. Keep helping putting down a lot more resistance. 
Because, my God, I hate the resistance so much. Uh, how many guns do we not have? Okay, 30,000. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Wh why is it so bad here? Why is it so bad? Supply. Incoming. Bottleneck in Quartz Hill. You are a problem. You are a huge problem for us right now. There you go. Do both of these. Go ahead and do it. Oh, that's not good. Go and do that too. Give us some more cores. Oh, and now we can do Department of Defense. The Volto Explosives are very nice. Grenade rifles, yes please. Until the rise of the Reformers, the Enclave was largely run by the military. Now that we're trying to restore the rule of law, perhaps we should revive a department devoted to military matters. Very good. And someone did leave a comment saying that if I chose like someone else earlier in the mod, or in the campaign, um, I could have got way more army XP apparently. My bad. I could have, I guess, gotten that one, but... I wasn't aware of it, so my bad. Wait, how do we lose? Well, I'm getting more daily army XP every day, every, every second, so it's kind of okay for now. Um, yeah, it's not looking great, but you got to be learning a whole lot. Becoming a mountaineer is pretty good. Advanced power plants are nice. Is this still part? Yeah, it's still part of this region here, so that kind of sucks. And then Department of Defense. Very nice. Good, kick them back out. Supplier, is it still that shady? Oh, previous bottleneck in shady San Reno's. So it's always good to look at supply. I might even just get some logistic companies for our armor. We actually might literally need that. That's looking a lot better, actually. Anti tank demo. That's good. Um, there we go. We live by five. We got enough for now. Uh, anything else here? Not really yet. It's fine. Keep going with this stuff for now. Hey, supplies looking so much better. Purchase better drills. That'd be probably pretty darn useful. Sponsor war movie, comedies, no. We just need more war sport. We just need war sport. Uh, anything else around here? Not really. We'll close this up for now. Anything up top? Uh, Grand solicitations, not too bad, but we don't really need that. Refugees, how's that coming along? That's no problem really at all. Oh. And of course we don't have enough equipment yet, but that's fine. When do we have enough equipment anyways? Once we can core everything here, I mean then it'll be real bueno. Really bueno. Actually, how much money do we have? Uh, Sacramento, why not? Oh boy. I'd love to reclaim the Declaration of Independence, but we've got to wait for that. Alright, they're still attacking. Oh, he's been wounded, but whatever. Any other upgrades yet? No, we, we do not. After this one, what do we need? Because we need more army XP for all this stuff, right? Combat still usage. Uh, 100, 125. Industry. 50! You get more organization, which is actually really good. Alright, canoe holes. Thank you very much. Department of the Navy? Why not? Even before the oil rig fell, the Enclave did not have much in the way of a navy, but now that we have access to deep rivers and ocean again, perhaps we should revive the Great White Fleet. We should. Uh, six research slots? Never enough research slots. Never, ever, ever, ever. I said I was going to get, um... <laughs> oh, crap. Where's the naval invasion? Is it down here? I thought I heard a naval invasion. Oh, we can go to war with somebody. Whispers of hope? Oh, this, oh that's right. Well... I love the free stability, even though we're not getting any more stability, but still. And PP is okay. Wow, we have 2100. That's a lot. Oh, it just took it away from us. That sucks. Any supply issues? No, we're looking pretty good. We might need an extra division down here, though. Oh, we took it. Nice. Good, 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 good. You five divisions. I mean... Oh, Schnikes. I see. I see what they're up to. Ah, uh, yes. And now we got our supplies back. That's good. Go up here, go up here. That's fine. Oh, they're actually taking us over there, too. Very nice, very nice. Equipment-wise, we should still be okay down here. Guns are looking fine. Well, uh, we needed to get into a major war anyways, so... Realistically, this is not too bad. There's not really much we can do with our stuff. Officer training? A Pentagon or Born... I'm going to wait to get that stuff as well. Oh, actually. Oh, we can't even do that? We don't have... We have no war support. God dang it. Volunteer army. I mean, non-core manpower goes up. Oh, okay, then. We might as well spend this. We might, oh, 15%. That's an extreme amount. Jeez Louise, man. Just in case, do that behind them, just in case. Because we can always move them if we really need to. So let's grab that, too. Because we'll make a pretty good navy. Anything else here? Nope, that's fine with us. Go and do that one. A war movie. Let's wait. Ace by the promoter. Very good. Very nice. Anything up here? I do want to keep an eye on... Uh, this one. That one's extremely crucial for us right now. 
but we'll go ahead and do home defense. Enclave Command is tired of endless messages about another settlement under attack. Instead of relying on disorganized militias, let's revive military reserves to fight at a moment's notice. And more division defense on core territory, which I don't know which one is our core territory right now, but that's okay. That is a-okay. And we're mobilizing more men, which we don't need to do. 15% is insane. Crap. I see that they've invaded us. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, crap again. Get rid of these guys. Pieces of garbage. How many men have we killed off? Only 41,000. That is not nearly enough. They're going to lose all the equipment before we kill them all off, so. Don't let me me leave. These guys are 20 combo with, so. I love advanced power armor. It's just so beautiful. Nope. Not today, scum. Why do they stop attacking us as much? Oh, never mind. They, they uh, bring back their divisions. I'm sure they got plenty of support equipment right now. Yeah, they got plenty of equipment. 200 some divisions. Plenty of planes. Kind of ridiculous. 700 factories. Home defense is nice. Whew. National Guard. We need. We might actually get up to there. So, the idea of a citizen militia is cute, but pre-war America has formalized military forces made up of civilians subject to military training. Why would we do anything else? And we do get some more recruitable population factor. Defensive war penalty. Stability modifier. Might as well use it, right? Hey, we got a lot of stability. We're a very stable nation here. Incredibly stable. One of the most stable nations. Looking very good right there. Extremely good. I just don't know what to do with my PP. Cultural advisors? I mean, I wanted to choose one of these guys, but... Eh, nah. Maybe that, that would be really helpful for her. We're almost done out of that thing that we need, though. Worst part's already really down. It's not really worth it. We need this guy, so... It's fine. National Guard, yes, please. Oh, we can't do that now. God dang it. Oh, anything else up here around here? No. This stuff is all maxed out for now. Cyber next. We can't do that one just yet. I'd love to, but we can't get there just yet. Advanced foundries. Better foundries. Home defense. So we'll go ahead and do liberty ships. Before the Great War, the U.S. Navy sailed the world seas and brought the fight to China's shores directly. Although it'll be a long time before we can do that again, we can take the first steps and get our men their sea legs, as it were. Yar, get your sea legs. Oh, shnikes. Uh, yeah, I think I might just have to move these guys permanently around here. At least to get to there. Yeah, or one, two, three. That actually might be best. And I do have a lot of divisions, not gonna lie. Guys, move, 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 move. They need supply. And you're gonna give our guys supply. And you're gonna do this as well. There you go. This way, well, you'll get hit very hard, and I'm actually gonna throw you back here. Uh, which one are you? Let's see, so there you go. And we'll do that third too. Not bad. Are they still attacking like crazy men? No, not really. Hmm. Very active material leak. Great. Lamore, yes. Nice. We just have no war support, which sucks. Oh, what's going on down here? You're literally not allowed to lose. Uh can we cause a distraction or anything like that? I'd rather have you die there, but we can't do uh, defense stuff yet. Yeah, infantry, infantry meta is is dead. At least for this mod, the current timing of this. So now this will get, keep us supplied. Guys, go in. Why the hell are you not going in? Look, I even gave him orders. What the heck? That is not good. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't like that we're limited to 20 divisions. I really don't like that at all. You know what? You want to have penalties? There you go. Don't have penalties, you piece of garbage. I really don't like that. I really don't. I don't understand why we have that. I guess it's like you're not supposed to have massive forces in the wasteland, but I don't care. We've only killed off 40,000 of them, which is really sad, actually. Liberty ships are done, which is great. National Guard. Been wounded, whatever. Um, yeah, these guys will be fine. And actually, we're going to leave this open just so they can think that they can throw guys in here, but they really can't, so. 
Alright, Enclave? Good. Actually, screw that. Let him come in here. We'll go attack him right here. Force him. Baja, California, huh? Well, we're technically already down here, so... Not really worried about it too much. They're doing force defense or something there, man. They've got to be. Centurion Aurelius, huh? Centurion something else. Alright, long range optics. Kill them off. Every single last one of them has to die. Grenade machine guns are nice. And I want more soft attack. We like it soft and hard. I don't know. Don't quote me on anything here. Any other things we can do? Response war maybe? Oh, liberate Daglo. Provide an annexation war go against the owner of Daglo. Uh, well, I don't think we really need to do that one. We killed those guys off, which is actually really nice. Um, just keep helping defend for here right now. That'd be right. Oh, crap, never mind. Jesus Christ. What the hell are you doing? I, ah. Sorry, I just... Apparently I'm tired or something. I don't know. This is a bit nuts. That is pretty extreme over there. Let's do that. It's fine for now. Four divisions should be good enough to take these guys out, right? Right? You find them, just beat them up. I'm not too worried about division per division, but still. I mean, you could probably do that. Do they not? Oh, th th there's no port down there. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this at all then. Uh, this, I'm slightly more worried about because there's so many guys attacking, but whatever. National Guard's good. Department of Homeland Security. Communists, Legion spies, and Brotherhood agents look everywhere. It's only natural to form a department to root them out. Come over here and grab this too. Get more reinforced rate. That'd be nice. Yeah, you're legally not allowed to lose, so yeah. There you go. Waterproof ceiling's pretty good. Keep corn, keep corn. That's not bad. Sponsor patriotic movie, why not? Oh, that's kinda oh, that's kinda nice. They're now four hundred some. Not enough dead yet, but hey, we're getting there. Anything else? Anything else? They're still attacking, still attacking. We're moving down there. Uh, pretty good. And they just landed again. Well, god dang it. Go on in, guys. Just take them. Just, um, we're not, as long as they don't build a port there, we'll be okay. Compression chambers, why not? We're still out of guns. No, we actually got plenty of guns this time. Demo equipment is really what we're lacking. So, guns, as much as I love y'all, share the wealth. There you go. That's a little better. That's okay, that's okay, and they're not really attacking down here too, so... Kinda sucky, but whatever. Assimilation, passive uh, stuff there, that's fine. I mean, we're... I think we're doing quite well around here, but we'll see. Obviously. Autonomous foundries, okay. Get some right gear. Oh, I shouldn't have used that army, because we got dang it. Ah, oh, just gotta bait him to it. Oh, hello! Hello! I don't want to kill off too many divisions. And the Volpus does have a lot. I just want to get through all the focuses first together while we're doing this. So that this way, if there's any other focuses we need to do, I can just do it off screen. Or or no, just do the war off screen if needed. We revive the Air Force. The rebel government of the Waste has been able to field plans uh, of their own to contest the skies. It's time to revive the U.S. Air Force and show them who really rules the heavens. Yeah, just make sure you can just... I and mean, this is probably the best way we can do it. I mean, we need more divisions, but we don't have enough guns. Whoa, 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 what the hell happened here? No, 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 no. You go in there right now, and you're going to find butts, and you're going to touch them. You will not give up on this attack. I swear to God, you will not. Kill, 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 kill. We will not have this happen. Get your buttholes in there. Go, 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 go. How are they winning against us? I literally do not understand. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Break through them. Break, break, break. For the love of God. Jesus Christ. Come on. You call yourself Enclave Power Armor Divisions? Yeah, I don't think so. That's pathetic. Every single last one of them has to die. 
Long boat holes. There we go. Did I say to go in? I'm pretty sure I said to go in, so... Did they actually be a... You know, that's fine. If they actually did be a spectator or whatever. Uh, I think you guys... Uh, actually, that's still okay right there. That still makes them want to come in here, so... I'm kind of okay with that for now. Mm, we do need to keep these guys around here, though. You guys, this is just a mess. You guys just kind of hang out and do what you need to do right now. Apologies for any outbursts I've had so far in this episode. It's just that I don't want I want to make sure we don't lose. And I'm just waiting for them to enable invade again, so that kind of sucks. But hey, if they keep attacking like this, it's fine with us. Give us more RMXP, please. About the Air Force, followed up with Mexican engineering. Robot parade, robot parade, wave the flags that the Enclave made. Robot parade, robot parade, robots obey what the Enclave does say. Oh crap, I I'm sick of this. We need to really tighten this up. So, what we're going to do is come over here and we're just going to attack. We just got to straight up attack them. These guys will be fine, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, they're not attacking too much up north. So, North Nevada, South Moha. Jesus Christ, this is insane. I, I, I don't like the Special Forces cap. It literally makes no sense for the Enclave. It literally makes no sense. Why would there be a Special Forces cap for the Enclave? Exactly. There, there would be literally no cap. They would say, just go on and do it the best you possibly can. Why can't we make anything here? Demo equipment? God dang it. Deploy them early. I do not care. Um, just so I'm right here too for now. They need it, so. Uh, getting Desert Fox. That'll be fine. Go in. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, because we gotta help all the guys on south. There you go. What the heck? No, there's one more. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not good. But that, that's more territory that they have to, you know, do, but. Um, we could risk this. We could just go tell them, just go ahead, kill them all off here. Hmm, we could. We could try it. Let's, and if this goes poorly, then I might just redo this. Screw it. You guys go this way. You guys force the attack. Kill them all off. Let God sort them out. You're not telling me that you... That the... Armor. Enclave power armor. Cannot beat these divisions up, man. Do not tell me that crap. You guys are good down here. Alright, so... You know what? This... 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 This is really bad. This is really bad. I'm going to have to redo this on this. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more of this off screen. And I'm going to read a few of these focuses first. Institute Emergency Draft. Uh, Pre-war America made all Americans register for potential military service. Although we've obviously not gone and conscript everyone in the nation, it can't hurt to track down everyone who we might want in the army. Army Reserves. Americans in the Great War rallied to the flag when the nation was under attack, serving as part-time soldiers. They can do so again. Military Propaganda. By the rocket's red glare, the nukes bursting in air gave proof to the night that the flag, of course, was still there. Wartime draft. It's time to conscript the people of America to protect our nation and its interests. Arms development. Working together, the military and industry can collaborate to promote a better society for all. We're thinking of calling it the military industrial collaboration or something. Gearing up for war. By learning from Vault City, Day Glow, and other bastions of civilization, we've learned how to simplify our military equipment production. Disciplined soldiers, specialist training. Um, what do we want? I do like this one. Discipline Soldier is not bad either, though. Rank and File Infantry, which looks pretty good, too. Versus Power Armored Integration. We gotta go that way. Special Training. As heirs to the military industrial complex, we can train men far above the rabble of the Legion or the NCR. Although we've always relied on Power Armor, one of our officers wants to take this to the next step. Captain Wilson Freeman has published a treatise calling for a lightning war, where powered armor flanks enemy positions, cuts off their lines of retreat, and capture the survivors. This might just work. The New American Army. Look at them march past. We're no longer a few bands hiding in Power Armor. We are the American Army, and we're back. And I think that's all the comments and stuff, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Are death claws an endangered species? With the revival of the EPA, one of the more vocal debates is whether North America's latest apex predator, the death claw, is entitled to protection. Once a terrible threat, the deployment of heavy weaponry has reduced its natural habitat, and some scientists estimate they can only one day become extinct. We could preserve this proud animal as testament to nature's fortitude through adversity. On the other hand, farmers complain that death claws make out for the prominent children. The death claw, like the bald eagle, symbolizes America. Or wait, are you all kidding me? Shoot them all. Eh, I think for now we shoot them all because, 
Yeah, enemy bombings, offensive wars, war heroes being killed. Not very good for us. Government has acquired other tariffs. I've done some extra focuses off screen and we're still going to go through some of the stuff. Um, I can't even remember. I don't think I read this side though. Report on the general staff. Our general staff needs to prepare for real wars against real states. Fortunately, the databanks have plenty of records of the last, Ameri last time Americans fought a real war. Now, we can either do a new generation of officers versus old remnant officers. Um, if the old officers sat, are set in their ways, but the ones who survived held out against the NCR and Brotherhood will be fools to ignore them. Or, a new generation of officers. A new generation of officers has arisen who have hidden throughout the wasteland. They have their own views of how to handle combat, and we will be foolish to ignore them. Officers by merit and skill. What if we chose officers based on merit and skill instead of those who, who their forefathers were versus officers by loyalty and devotion? Too many peers still hide in the officers' ranks. We should only promote those loyal to America. We'll probably go with by merit and skill. Um, it seems like it makes more sense to maybe go for this one, a new generation of officers, but we'll see. And officer core reform. That spit and polish, that crisp salute, that ability to launch a piercer or pincer into enemy's positions. Our officers are as good as any West Point turned out. Good. Um, we still have some more to do down here as well, as well as this one. And also, I've already gone ahead and just decided to do from the EPA. We need to preserve what remains of our nature, preserve the planet for future generations. Plus, we'll gain popular support doing so, which hurts our consumer goods, but that's kind of okay for now. We have a lot of population, as you can see, it's still mobilizing. In which, the Gek Project. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit was designed to help revive the waste after nuclear war. The reunited states can use this technology on a national level to turn the Deadwood Forest into Redwood Forest once again. I've also gone to the Department of Energy. Pre-war America sent energy from Hoover Dam to California, from the Tennessee Valley to Chicago. So can we. And we also have the Department of Manufacturing, I think we already did. Uh, or by creating a department devoted solely to industrial growth, we can revive the American economy, and I've already finished up lighting up the night. We need to do more than uh, live off of scraps of the Great War. We can rebuild centers of high technology to train the next generation of scientists, so let's do that. Every man a car. In pre-war America, every American dreamed of owning a car. Today, about 1 in 200 people in California do, and the rest of the nation is worse off. We can revive the American auto industry and promise some sort of people's car because life, as they say, is a highway, and the Enclave will ride it all night long in Starlight Express. Before the Great War, the Coast Starlight Railway connected the cities of the West Coast. It can do so quite again. Um, so with all those done, and pretty much all these, uh, we can probably read about a few more of these, like Free Cascadia. Actually, I still want to do Operation Spartacus, so uh, let's try that one. The flag of rebellion has risen throughout the lands of the Legion. The people of Arizona and New Mexico here resolve that this land shall have a, birth, a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. And actually, as you can see, they're still, still attacking us like crazy, and I've got this focus done finally. And you know what? Since we're here, we already did the plant weapon caches, which is pretty good for us. Uh, we can. When can we arm slaves? I haven't done that one at all yet. Aid foes? No, down Mexico way, of course. There's that one we tried earlier. It didn't really work for us. Local agent recruitment doesn't do anything for us either. Nuka Cor uh, Corporation. Um, organization relations? No. Development projects? Sure. El Centro? Why not? Procurement of things? Eh, kind of okay. New assist as a care package? Why not? Even though we don't really need it. Um, yeah, we. I guess technically here, uh, how does armed slaves work? Actually, you know what, I'll see what this does. Operation Spartacus. The flag of rebellion has risen up throughout the lands of the Legion. The peoples of Arizona, oh, I think, I think I just read this one, didn't I? Oh, so if you want to do this again, please go ahead. Yeah, my bad. Just mentally, apparently I'm just not here anymore. I apologize. Like, I've been doing this for like an hour or two off screen already. It's just been a little iffy, we'll put it like that. Um, I mean, it's been okay. I'm trying to keep as much uh, army XP as possible. But uh, yeah, we've lost all of our planes. It's not looking great here. Honestly, I think we should, really should push back from here. Uh, that might be for the best if we do that. Just because... Oh, look. Let's throw in more guys. And our guys are over here doing quite okay. Here are the, here's the list of everything. Like, fire teams? Well, that's okay. Everything else is doing pretty well except for planes, of course. However, I know someone's going to ask, why didn't I just go ahead and you know, pair drop on them? That's because we needed some sort of enemy here in which we could get a just a ton of army XP, so this is why I'm going to War of the Legion full on, because as you see, they have like almost 500 divisions. We've killed 115,000 of them. We lost 20,000. I'm not worried about manpower at all. Like manpower is really not an issue right now. So, yeah. Um, there's a few too many guys here as well. That's not good. Hmm. But it is what it is, of course. Uh, just we just need a lot of army XP for that stuff. So that's why I wanted to actually have a war here. Well, I could still naval invade. We still have. Oh, wait, I guess we have you guys over here hanging out too. So, yeah, I mean, I could, but and I might still, but the problem with that is that literally every single one of these guys is a major power. So, I mean, if we could capitulate Volt plus his Legion very quickly, that'd be good, but even the Mormons are major powers, huh? The reservation, I mean, that, that's just, there's so many. Hence, it'll so, could fall, could fall pretty darn quickly, though, but then you have to deal with all that stuff over there. 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, I might just try to grind them out all the way through. They'll probably lose equipment before manpower, but you never know. And I also I did still throw anti air on our guys as well. So, at least our infantry, not our uh, power armor divisions. So, there we go. Very nice. Up next, free Cascadia. Um, you know what? Let's go do the Gek project first, just because I want to get the event horses done. Luxury taxes. Power grids keep going with that stuff. Honestly, we could probably go and do all this stuff just because, uh, what is this one? Well, once we have everything cored, of course, in California, just because there's really no point to wait. What was that? Sponsored patriotic movie? Actually, that's a pretty good idea to do that, too. Yeah. Give more weekly stability. Aid. Yeah. I don't, I don't see anything here about slaves and stuff, so. And we do have some recon here as well, so. That's pretty nice. Thank you very much. Um, even within the decision tab here. I guess we could try to recruit, but I, I don't see anything about slaves. Maybe I'm, I'm probably missing it. I'm probably really just missing it. I would have one person helping out here, too, so... Yeah, I don't see anything about slaves. They're like, arming slave uprisings. So, yeah. Let's get to this focus first, read the event, and then maybe we'll call it an episode, and I'll just spend a lot of time off-screen just kind of killing them all off. So, we'll see what happens, as long as no one else wants to kill us off as well. Um, I've already gone, gone ahead and got more infrastructure and civi, civi construction speed. I thought that was pretty... Pretty darn important, so. And I'll bait these guys into attacking us a lot more. Uh, really? There, there's nothing there about that. Hmm. Purchase better drills. What is that? Resource efficiency gain. Ah, oh, that's not bad. We don't really need that, though. Yeah, we got more than enough resources. Iron operative captured, huh? I mean, I'd love to attack, but... Eh, we do have the... Hmm, we do have you guys down here, too. I don't mind maybe doing this. Bingo. And then just cut them all off down here. And let them come back in, basically. They're still attacking us, so it's just going to take a while to get this all, all this stuff done. Unfortunate, but it's it could be a lot worse. I'm mean, still trying to train more divisions. I wish we had a bigger special forces cap, but we've already got what we got, so it's unfortunate, but whatever. And actually, it's really nice that if you can hold out pretty much by their own on their own accord. So thank you very much, man. At least we have six research slots too, which is pretty good. Uh, sure, why not? There you go. Good luck. Hopefully, then we'll get these. Eh, well, actually. Yeah, they do have a port down there, so it's kind of a waste. But whatever. Go, go, go. Head on down. And there's no more naval invasions for now, which is nice, but still. I really wonder if you guys could do this together and keep the infantry here. They probably actually could. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, not that. Hey, we got them. Great. Horses. Although there are about 8 million horses in pre-war America, they all died out due to the Great War. Nuclear winter and hungry survivors. Now the EPA wants to use the genetic engineering to revive horses and other large mammals rather than engineering death claws with laser guns. Cool. Nah, now give them lasers. Less supply consumption, better reconnaissance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But I apologize that I've got to end the episode here and let's finish off with War with the Brotherhood. In the arrogance, the Brotherhood believe that high technology is exclusive purview of fanatics hiding underground. Let's demonstrate the error other ways. Followed up with anti Brotherhood propaganda. The enclave members of the Brotherhood's treachery at Navarro, but even new. Californians remember instances of brotherhood or arrogance and misconduct. Let us remind the West that the future belongs to America, not techno-fascist knights in powered armor. And cleansing the Mojave. Helios won his federal property. Come to think of it, we so are the suits of power armor the Mojave chapter wears, which is great. So, if you enjoyed this video, even though I I apologize for being a little bit ragey earlier, a little ranty about stuff. It is what it is. This is probably the most difficult episode we had so far, but whatever. Um, I apologize about that. But if you liked the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will hopefully be close to capitulating the Legion. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great enclave rest of your day.